Hi guys, welcome to Tone Zone. Today we're gonna talk about some of Jimmy Page's finest Led Zeppelin riffs. But before that, let's take a look at this very special guitar. So what we have here is the Gibson Custom Shop Jimmy Page No. 2 Les Paul VOS. A very rare beast of which only 200 were made in this finish. Even though today's video is mostly about the awesome riffs that Jimmy wrote, I decided because this guitar is so rare and so special to tell you a little bit more about it. So let me run you through the specs. Even though most people wouldn't dare to touch a 59 Les Paul today, Jimmy Page added a lot of modifications over the years and molded it to his specs. The first thing you'll feel when holding this guitar is that the guitar doesn't have a standard 59 neck. This one is way slimmer and that's because Jimmy actually sanded down the neck himself for a more slim feel. Another thing Page did was switch out the classic clues and tuners for Grovers. And on this reproduction you can actually still see the holes of where the Clusens used to be. Even though Jimmy didn't change anything to the pickups except remove the treble pickup cover, he did add a lot of features. So you now have a coil split with a push-pull system, as well as two switches underneath the pick guard. One changes the pickups from series to parallel, the other one is a phase reversal switch. So now I give you a run through of all the different specs, let me give you a small taste of what this amazing instrument has to offer. Now you've heard some of the sounds that this amazing guitar has to offer, now let's take a deeper look at some of the songs that Jimmy played on it. The 
first riff we're checking out today is probably the most legendary out of all the Jimmy Page riffs. Whole Other Love. Now, while this riff has already been explained on YouTube by a guitar player a lot more famous than me years ago, I'm gonna break it down for you guys one more time. I still hear a lot of guys playing the riff like this. <laughs> Now that sounds good and there's nothing wrong with it, but how Paige actually played it was like this. So what's the difference? Well, Jimmy Page didn't just play a single D on the 5th fret on the 5th string. He actually also played the D on the open D string and then slightly bended up the one on the 5th string. That gives that really nice dissonance to the sound. So here it is again, once more. The second song we're taking a look at is Ramble On. This song was the seventh track of the Led Zeppelin II album from 1969. I'm not gonna focus on the beautiful acoustic and electric guitar parts from the verse and pre-chorus, but just the main riff from the chorus. So here it is for you guys, slow down. This song really doesn't sound like it belongs in 1969, it was way ahead of its time. I also really like Page's use of the downward fifths in this riff, as it really sounds like a sort of thinner inverted power chord. <laughs> The next track we're taking a look at is Black Dog, probably the most revered out of all the rock and roll riffs. Thousands of guitar players have struggled to get this one down in the past, and that's because of its kind of strange timing and feel. While this song might sound like it's in a very strange time signature, actually the drums are just playing a 4-4 beat. It's the guitars and bass that are doing a 5-4, also known as a 5 over 4. So here's the riff for you guys, but slow down. <laughs> Thank you. 
The next one on our list of epic Led Zeppelin riffs is rock and roll. The song started off by the band just jamming around and they finished it in just under half an hour. There's not a lot more to say about it except that it's like a typical 50s rock and roll structure only turned up to 11. Here it is for you guys, slow down. <laughs> The last song we're checking out today is Kashmir. The reason we kept this one for last is because Paige actually used a sitar kind of tuning known as Dadgat. So basically you tune your guitar to D A D G A D. Paige famously recorded Kashmir using a Dan Electro, but I got great results recreating the tone with this Les Paul on the middle position and with the pickup switch to parallel. I also used just a little bit of overdrive and a univibe type sound. So here are some of the main riffs from the song, but slowed down. I hope you guys loved watching this video as much as I loved playing this Les Paul. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Also let us know down in the comments what is your favorite Led Zeppelin song and which artist you'd like us to review in the future. So that's it for today's video and we hope to see you soon at Zone Zone.